Greetings from the road. This is Freighter Jim. I'm in Palestine, Texas, and I'm here with the owner of Shamrock Speed Shop. So this is going to kick off a series of videos about him and his evolution to owning this shop. And he's going to start with this engine. He helped design this engine that Tim McMaster built. Uh, it's a flatty. And he's going to tell you, so we're going to kick it off with this video. What are we looking at here? So yeah, Tim McMaster, he was the Y block guy out in California. We'd known him for years and we were wanting a really quality flathead Ford built. And uh, so got a hold of him and he's doing, it's a 59 AB style engine, a 304 cubic inch. And uh, basically it's just for, really for driving, getting out on the road and actually driving. It's gonna have a Auto Trend EFI 97 fuel units on it, which will look like the Stromberg, but you know, this car is gonna, it's gonna run down the road. And he was thinking that, and in a heavy car, it goes in a 1939 Mercury convertible for Jake Christmas. It, he's a, one of the members of Los Cachinos Car Club. They've been sending some really nice work my way. And uh, they wanted a, a high end, really quality piece, you know, to kind of showcase this car with. And uh, what, what did you give advice to Tim on as far as what your customer needed for the build? that helped go into the design of this. Can you point out some features for yeah, us? We just talked about it being streetable more than anything. We want okay. a sound to it. You know, I mean, everybody wants to hear a camshaft, but a lot of guys go overboard there. They've got something that either doesn't run good driving it around town, but you know, we we wanted really more drivability and it, it is a heavy car. We want to be able to run down the highway. So we want to have torque over high RPM performance. You know, we want to be able to pull down the road. So the gear ratio, plays into that also and a engine that would pull that gear ratio in a big car like the mercury so uh, that's kind of where he was at with what he had to build for us to make it work okay so this intake do you know where he got that from yeah tim is a like authorized offenhauser dealer and that's the offenhauser two by two and the offenhauser cylinder heads and uh he fixed us up with that it's a uh, Power master generator on it, um, Fenton headers on it. It's got the, uh, I'm trying to think of some of the goodies here. I know the rotating assembly of scat, stroker, crankshaft, and rods. I'm not sure on which pistons brand or whatever that Tim used, and I'm not sure on the camshaft either. He picked that stuff out, and uh, we're going with what he says on it. Okay, so what's this mating to for a transmission? It's actually going to have a little Ford C4 in it, which was funny. You know, a lot of the traditional guys, they get pretty far ahead of themselves. And when Jake came to me, he's like, you know, and it's got what's the really funny part is it has the 39 top loader actually came in that Mercury, which is probably as far as the traditional hot rod builders, that would be the most desirable transmission that they would use. But he goes, hey, it's my wife's car. And I want her to be comfortable in the car, right. more so than you know grinding gears in a right. transmission that, right. does, that shifts like you know 1939. So she's going to run it down the highway like that. But uh, also that's what brought me to the point of thinking about the fuel injection for Jake. He goes, I said, well you know cold startups, hot startups in town, uh, right? Stop that. and go. Yeah, yeah. So he he said, dude, that's exactly what I want. So this is engineered and designed. To make it an easy yeah. driver in yeah. town and then perform out on the highway. And still look like And still look traditional. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to wrap this up. And then the next video, we're going to sit down and interview this gentleman and find out how he got into this line of work. And then we'll do another video talking about his career professionally. And then we'll do another video about where he's at now and what he's doing. That's it for me. Hope everybody's having a great day. Remember, drive safe, arrive alive.